everyone! Welcome back for another amazing Bible lesson. Amazing because it's based on God's Word and our God is amazing. But wait, before we get started, I want to tell them about what you did to me this morning. Uh, you don't have to tell them about that. Oh yes I do! This morning, I was minding my own business, relaxing and eating breakfast when someone snuck up behind me and took my bacon! I didn't even realize it was missing until I went to eat my pancakes. What are you, a bacon ninja? I just wanted to see if he would notice, and I did it because of our Bible lesson. In today's Bible lesson, we'll see how a man named David sneaks up on King Saul. David does take something, but it isn't bacon, and it isn't what you would expect. Join us as we learn how, even in a difficult situation, David honored God. And as we consider how we can honor God too. Last week we spoke about David and Abigail. Remember, Abigail was a woman of faith who trusted God and followed him even when life was scary. God used her to save her family and to help David make good choices, reminding him that he would one day be king. Today, we'll jump back a chapter in the book of 1 Samuel so we can learn a little bit more about the life of David. David was a shepherd who lived in Israel, and he loved God with all his heart. And because of that, God had special plans for David. When he was just a boy, he was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel. But David had to wait a very long time for that promise to come true. And during that time of waiting, David faced many difficulties. There was another king of Israel on the throne at this time. He was tall and strong. He looked like a king all right. But unfortunately, he had a big problem. Saul didn't follow God the way he was supposed to. And so God decided that he would take the kingdom away from Saul and give it to David and his descendants. Over time, David became a great warrior. He won many battles because God was with him. The people of Israel loved David, but this made Saul very jealous. As a result, King Saul began to hate David and he wanted to kill him. Saul hunted David down, but couldn't catch him because God was protecting David. One day, Saul heard that David was in the wilderness of En Gedi. So he gathered 3,000 of his men and set out to find and kill David. While Saul was out searching for David, he went into a cave to relieve himself. This cave just happened to be the one that David and his men were hiding in. When David's men saw that Saul was there and he didn't realize he wasn't alone, they told David, this is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. And so David crept up without Saul knowing it and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. But afterwards, David felt guilty for having done that. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hand on him. He is the anointed of the Lord. David realized it wasn't right for him to take Saul's life, no matter how much hardship and difficulty Saul had caused him. It still wasn't right for him to hurt the one who God had placed as king over Israel. So David told his men to back off, and he did not let them kill Saul. After Saul had left the cave, David ran out and shouted to him, my lord the king, why do you listen when men say, David is bent on harming you? Look, I cut off your robe, but I did not harm you. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. Even though you have been hunting me, I have not sinned against you. Then David promised that he would never harm Saul. David said that God would be the one to protect David and to rescue him. Saul said, You have treated me well, 
but I have treated you badly. You have just now told me about the good you did to me. The Lord delivered me into your hands, but you did not kill me. Now I come to realize that you will be the king of Israel, and the kingdom will do well under your rule. From then on, David kept his promise and did not harm Saul, even though Saul continued to cause trouble in David's life. So King Saul was after David. He hated him and was trying to kill him. Boy, David sure had to face some difficult times while he was waiting for God to make him king. King Saul tried many times to kill David. He even threw a spear at his head once. But he never succeeded because God was with David. God protected David. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 14 says this about David. In everything he did, he had great success because the Lord was with him. It works the same way with us. If we believe in God and follow him, if we love God as David did, then God will protect us and help us too. And because David loved God and followed him, when he was given an opportunity to kill Saul in the cave, he refused. Instead, David showed respect for God. He knew that Saul was God's anointed, that God had made him king. It was up to God to remove Saul from being king. It wasn't up to David. David trusted God to keep his promise of making him king one day. So David didn't try to take the throne on his own. Even when others were telling David to harm King Saul, David did what was right. He trusted God to deal with Saul himself. The action of David sparing Saul shows us that even when we face difficult situations, we should honor God and do what pleases him. Let's pray together. God, I thank you for each and every person who's listening to this lesson today. And I want to ask you to help all of us to honor you, no matter what kind of situation we're facing, that we would do what is right and honor you. Please help us to do that, God. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, the next time someone sneaks up on you, ah! Remember David and the choice he made when he had a chance to sneak up on Saul. He chose to honor God and do what was right. We encourage you to do the same. See, See you, you next week! week.